Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today I thought I would do um, a review on a product that's more low end. You can get it at, like Walmart and probably like everywhere else, like any drugstore. It's a drugstore brand, I think, or you can get it in like places like that, I would assume. Um, anyways, I got mine at Walmart and it was um, the price for it. I'm not sure if it was freaking on sale now or not, or if it was the original price. That um, I should have probably <laughs> made a mental note of, but regardless, it was through something. So, um, beans that I am um, a mom and stuff, and I don't have a lot of money to spend on myself, especially on makeup and things like that. I try to go as kind of low in and low cost as I can and still get the quality look that I want. Um, so, when I seen that they were that there were some mascaras on sale for three something. I don't know if I mentioned that, their mascara. It's the um, New York color brand, NYC. And um, that brand is not bad. It does have some good um, products and whatnot. So these were the two that I decided to get. I got uh, Big and Bold Curl, which is supposed to, uh, it says up to 12 times more volume, up to 99% more curl. So that's what this one looks like. And I got it in black. I don't think it has any numbers, but it's the blackest black is, I believe, what it was. And then I got this one, which is the um, Big and Bold Full Impact Mascara, which is supposed to give explosive volume and visibly adds up to nine times more. Uh, sorry, up to nine times, yeah, more <laughs> volume to lashes. Um, volume, yeah. So, anyways, so that's what this one looks like. And it kind of is coming off orange. Well, actually, yeah, it's probably like a really red orange, the packaging. So, anyways, um, I did try each of these each once before and kind of like my own makeup thing because I just kind of wanted to kind of give it a good review since and then I've used it. But I'm also going to put one on one eye and one on the other and show you kind of how they look today. Um, I don't find they're that bad for the price that I got them and that they're not, you know, a uh, high-end brand or anything like that. They're not bad. Um, so I'll do the first one, the curl one first. Now this one here, the wand is a nice big wand, big thick wand. And um, that's kind of what drew me to this one to want to try it because I think there was a couple of more um, like different sets of them like where this one was for curl and that one's for volume molder. I think there was a couple of different ones but these were the two that I chose. Um, now I'm just going to use <laughs> my mirror to help me so I don't make a mess everywhere on my face. And this is with nothing. This is just... Um, bare lashes. The only thing, makeup or anything that I have on is, uh, I did my foundation just because I do have some kind of darkness around my eyes that I thought maybe would make it hard for you to really see the length and the curl that the mascara is giving me. So that's pretty much one coat um, just on the top lashes and this one here I find isn't that bad. I mean for a cheap just like Walmart brand I find that compared to this eye um, it's hard to show you. I can try to um, in the light better. I don't have great lighting but I'll try to show you them in the light together so you can kind of see the difference between the one that has some and the one that don't in that kind. I find that it does work um, pretty good considering. Um, now the other one which is which is the um, for the volume. Now this one has a weird wand which I was kind of once I got it home and seen what it looked like I was a little skeptical about it because it's wide like that and like so skinny on that. It's almost like this would be to brush it through for 
length and then like this side would be to make it more like colored and thicker I don't know it was kind of weird to get used to putting this one in I find it works okay I like this one a bit better um I also tried them alone and then when I tried this one alone after I did it I topped it with this stuff and I found that wasn't too bad either so I'll put this on and then I'll show you how it looks so what I did was I went through with the stuff that or the side that would give you brush it right through and give you the length so I kinda did it like like this side we see how it looks skinny well the wide side on right here I feel like it's probably kinda sticking out and prickly like that to kinda comb it through to bring it all through the whole length of your lashes to really give it that that length and volume that you'd be looking for now then I would I take and I turn it like flat like that and then was going and using the brush kind of like this to rub it through and make it a little more like opaque and darker and really make them pop a little more so I'm just gonna brush this through everywhere Use the length side one more time just to make sure it's not too clumpy or anything. And that is this side here. I'll take it over some. So you can see that this one is more, like it gives you length. I find this one kind of does make it more curly and full, which is why I tried that on top of that. But I find that considering I only paid three something like four bucks whatever for uh the whole tube of mascara was really good so that's why I bought the two I was like well I'm kind of getting two for one because usually I buy a little one that's a little more expensive but pretty much the same just as these so that's why I was like if I can get two and different kinds as opposed to buying one of one kind that'd be a whole lot better so this is like I said the end result I don't find it that that bad I do prefer this one this one is my favorite the curl one but yeah for just a cheaper lower end uh, mascara I found that they did really well and I really like them so if you are someone who you know is frequently in Walmart and stuff and you know tries to save money on those sorts of things check it out and the brand again is uh, NYC New York color and that's what they look like yeah all right, well, I hope that you liked this review. Um, I think that they're great, and I'm glad that I bought them. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.